Little Snuggy, Little Tuggy, and a Little Luggy. It's time for a vlog, ladies and gentlemen. Join me for a vape. Come on. Welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. Hello and welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. It is time for a vlog because I'm sure you guys are wondering what the frick is going on with me and my lack of content lately. Well, I'm not going to pull anybody's leg. Um, it has been a series of crazy events in my life. Um, the holidays were super busy and I redid the vape cave down here and I reorganized everything. And um, I was really excited. I tried to reorganize. And I have ADD, so, you know, any kind of big task that requires lots and lots of work, I'm not the best at completing tasks in order. So I'm sloppy. It takes me time. I spend a lot of time uh, pondering and staring and contemplating. Very little action to the last minute. It's just how I roll. Um, but I am creative, and I do like to, you know, think about projects. <laughs> but getting them done is a whole different story. So finally, I got the vape cave done. I was all energetic. I felt great. Last week, the vape team, Mark joined the team. Um, the show went great. I was feeling awesome. And then, boom, Saturday, I got sick. I couldn't even get on a roll with videos. I released like four videos last week, and all of a sudden, I got sick. And when I say I got sick, whew, I haven't been this sick. Si I have not been this sick since I started vaping. This is good right now, and I'm still sick. Okay, um, it started with like a tickle in my throat and then it worked up into a full upper respiratory infection and I couldn't taste. I still can't taste vape. I mean, shit, I'm lug life and right now with the luggy. I could be vaping gasoline. And I don't even know what the fuck this is. <laughs> I should <coughs> I should go through my cabinet and vape all the cheap stuff or the old stuff. Um. But yeah, so you know, then it went from my from my nose and my sinuses to my throat. I got a sore throat, and then I started getting a fever, and it went to my lungs, and it's just been a crappy, you know, poor me. Wow, I'm a baby, cold. Um, I've tried. I have a full time job, so I work two days, and I've been sleeping a lot, and I just can't focus on putting together the type of videos that I want. The problem is is I am so behind. When I say I'm behind, I'm like, I'm not going to be able to dig. I'm, I'm going to have to get a, a costume or, a, you know, an outfit and become another channel so I don't have to review all this stuff. Because <laughs> I got stuff that nobody cares about anymore that everybody's been waiting for reviews on. And it's hard to be passionate about stuff when it's been reviewed 500 times already, but I made a commitment to review it. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, it's built up. I got like 30 products built up, so plan on having some quick overview, unenthusiastic reviews. Not to do a disservice to anybody, I'll let you know if it's good or not, but the fine-tuned details, it's already been, you know, done over and done over again, and I just need to get current, because that's what, I, that's what I'm passionate about, what's current. With that said, um, I'm still vaping the police, man. I only had one day of flavor out of it, because since then I've been sick as hell, so that's neither here nor there. Um, got some cool drip tips in the mail from Fast Tech. I also got some pipe stems coming, and this is going to be all over the place. I'm going to, basically, this is a vlog about what's on my desk. <laughs> my desk is full again. The cave has been redone and it's full. Let me get a drink because I'm dehydrated. Hmm. What did I get? I got... These. By the way, if you want to find any of the stuff that I talk about, <coughs> I talk about a lot of stuff on a lot of different avenues. And it's hard for me to find links of all the stuff I order. So just go to Fast Tech, search for vape stands, and spend five minutes and find it. I got these on Fast Tech. This is the Superman vape stand. So you can hold your mods, and it was like 26 bucks maybe. You can hold your juice, your mods, your tanks, um, a whole bunch of stuff on here. You have to put it together yourself. But actually, it's really nice. It's sort of like a plexiglass. And that's my Superman. And then I got this one, which is my Batman. 
So you can see I got a couple things on here. I'll try not to spill shit. And there's the Batman one. And I'm spilling shit. Fuck. Well, there you go. There's that. So that was really cool. This is just stuff that I bought late night, impulse buy. Um, I got some cool drip tips. Um, I think I'm going to make a cheap drip tip uh, source on my webpage, maybe. Like a little section where I'll have links directly to all these cheap drip tips. Now, by the way, <coughs> excuse me, these cheap drip tips are not as good as premium drip tips. Like Signature Tips from the UK sent me these chameleon tips. And I got a chameleon tip on here right now. And um, they're beautiful. They're perfectly made. They, they just fit perfectly. And they look awesome. The colors are all even. The cheap ones, well, they're questionable. Sometimes there's rough edges. They're not sanded right. They don't fit perfectly. They're good. They look good. But they, they're not the same. With most things, you spend more money, you get better quality, hopefully. That's at least how it should be. Trip tips are no different. You know, I like cheap stuff. I like high-end stuff. But I like to, if I'm going to spend money, I want to make sure I get what delivers. So, with that said, Signature Tips sent me this beautiful dark edition SX350J um, with Batman logo on it and the Joker on the other side. And the kicker, they also put the Vapor Chronicles on the bottom. Custom as hell. Best mod I've ever owned because, number one, it has the Vapor Chronicles on it. And number two, it's a dual 18650 um, SX350J chip, which I love. It's clean as hell on the inside. Totally custom, hand-built, hand-put together. Um, it's just it's fucking gorgeous. It's like mod porn times ten for me. So I will be doing a full review on this because it deserves it. Uh, not cheap, premium, but premium quality, and it delivers. Um, I'm also testing out this Horizon Tech Crixus tank, which is very similar to the Dolphin tank that I've already reviewed, um, but I like this better. I think the tank's better. And I think it's sexier looking, and uh, the coil head acts the same, works the same, and I have this little chameleon tip on there. So I'm going all over the place. Um, let me take a vape. As always, VTC Mini and my Super Tank Mini. I would love to tell you what liquid this is, but I don't know. Because I can't taste it. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, oh, I got this little beauty from Inakin. With TVC logo on there, they were kind enough to send me these. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for these soon. Uh, from Vapor DNA, they sent me this uh, Segeli 26650 mod, this 90 watt mod from them. It comes with a tank and it comes with the mod, and this thing's been fucking awesome. It comes with a battery too, a 26650 with it. So I'll be doing a review on that. I'll be doing a review on the Fody. I got that. Uh, I got the Doge. I think it's the Doge V3. Yeah, I think so. Um, what else did I get? Oh, psh, I got an E-pipe. I'm waiting on... Um, I got this pipe from Smoke. And um, I'm waiting on some drip tips from uh, Fast Tech that I ordered. Some pipe stems. Sort of like this one. This one I, I sort of made custom, but it doesn't really work well. So I got some other ones coming, and I'll wait to review that till they come. Uh, I got the Rafale and I got the Addy Ice Cube, Addy Cube, ice, the Ice Cube RDA, which looks pretty cool. Uh, I got this little lightweight, super indestructible, triggered battery door mod from, um, who sent this to me? Uh, Everson.com sent this to me and I'm testing that. Uh, super lightweight, very durable, 60 watts. Um, it's from Encom. It's called the, the the fucking, it's called the Void Ray. It's a 60 watt mod. So I've been playing with that. Uh, 
I got these pee bags from Coil Master. And these are little, like, you know, vape bags where you put them on your belt and you can hold juice and wicking and your mod and stuff like that. So I got that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got some vape holsters a while ago. Fuck, I haven't even. I'm telling you, I'm so backed up and I'm on. I'm not on the Robitussin, but I should be because that shit works for everything. I'm on NyQuil. So I'm a little drowsy tonight, and, uh, you know, there's going to be rumors probably, but this is just me when I'm sick and I'm tired, all right? Uh, me being real, uh, with an overwhelming amount of stuff to review. I got the R200 in, and I'm not bitching. I mean, it's awesome getting all this stuff. I love opening boxes. It's the review part. You know, if you think about it, it takes me about three hours now that I'm, get, I'm getting better to do a review. So three hours per review. If I could do, if I did one review a day, one review a day, which would be a lot, seven days in a week, which I'd never do. It's going to take me a month to catch up if I don't get any new products from this point forward. It's not going to happen. So I'm going to have to figure out something. Um, and I don't mind sending products back. That's maybe what I'll do. I'll start sending products back to companies because I just can't. I took on too much and life happened. This is the first time. It's been a year and four months. I put up 300 and something videos my first year and um, life shows up. I mean, I have a full-time job. I got a family. I got a wife. Um, and sometimes, you know, life happens and that's what's happened. So it is what it is. And by the way, I don't get paid. So as much as having stuff is awesome and I really appreciate it, um, you know, stuff is stuff. You know what I mean? My health, my family, my day job that pays my bills and my mortgage, my car payments, that kind of stuff, that, that comes first. And the vape stuff, this is a hobby. So I don't take it too seriously. But at the same time, uh, I'm a man of my word. And when I make a commitment, I like to follow through with that commitment. So... Um, and there's a whole bunch of other, I mean, if, if you sent me coil heads to do a video on, I can't do it. I got too many hardware reviews to do before I even get to that. Uh, coil Master sent me a new 521 tab, which is just an upgraded version of the one they had before. I got that ceramic tank, the, uh, what's this called? The Altus that I was messing around with. Um, initially, really good vape. But then it was just so freaking inconsistent, it made me angry because for the price, it shouldn't be as inconsistent as it is. And if I'm having trouble with it and I have 5,000 tanks and I've worked 5,000 mods and, you know, they could say, oh, it's user error. Well, yeah, maybe. But you know what? I'm a pretty freaking experienced user with all the products I get. I have tons of ceramic tanks, tons of experience with ceramic. And uh, this thing is just being inconsistent. So... That is that. What else? V2. That's the answer. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, I got these cool business cards in. Not that this is important, but I'm going to a vape expo next month, two of them. So I want to be able to give vendors and like different companies my information. And uh, I got these made up from Vistaprint. If you've ever used Vistaprint, they're pretty awesome. So I got my information on the front, and then I got the vape team on the back. And I, I just wanted to point out that these cards are thicker than Mark Fagan. So no matter what he says about his cards, he got the, the cheap entry-level ones. And not only do I have thicker cards than him, but I also have a bigger TV. And I think I have a faster car. Now, that all means that my dick is smaller probably. But you know what? When you're my age, it doesn't really matter anymore anyway. So, you know. Uh... Oh, this is also from Everson. It's called the Triangle. These coil heads look like the Hattrick coil, uh, coils that came with the Hattrick tank. So that's another sub ohm tank for me to review. I got Freemax tanks here with coils. I got um, an iJoy Reaper Pro or Plus. I got a couple EH Pro tanks. Um, I think there might be more than 30 products. So it's... You know, part of the problem is is that there's so many companies that are releasing products so fast, so often. I, I just can't thoroughly test something, you know, and put a review out the way I edit things and the way I like to do it this fast. And I'm going to need to figure out a solution. Maybe I need like a business partner or something. Um, I don't know. 
it's still a work in progress here on the Vapor Chronicles, but I thank you for dealing with my craziness. I do care about giving a quality review. I do care about being honest. I do care about the manufacturers that invest their hard-earned money and time into my channel. I am appreciative as hell. You know, I started this channel with no, no, no connections with any other channels, no help from anybody. I built the brand. I built my reputation. I built everything on my own. And um, it was through hard work and commitment and follow-through. So I'm not done. It's just it's been rough, so I'm fall I fall I'm falling behind. Uh, any of you bigger channels out there that have been where I'm at, maybe some suggestions would be helpful if you're even watching my sick vlog. Um, but that's pretty much it. You know, us reviewers, this, this vape community, we're all just human beings doing the best we can, just like you. We're no different, you know. I get up every day, go to work, come home, eat dinner. I get, you know, depressed some days, I get bored some days, I get tired some days, you know, some days I'm energetic, some days I feel full of myself, some days I feel low on myself, um, you know, it's, it's called life, welcome to life, this is life, this is just me in my fucking basement with some shitty lights over there and a lot of, a lot of vape gear that all blends together over time. For all of you out there working hard that don't get all the free vape gear, I feel your pain too because I know how it feels to watch these videos because I was you watching videos. I used to watch uh, Indoor Smokers, who I think is awesome, uh, with his fucking cabinet of glory behind him. And I used to, like, my jaw would be on the floor and I'd be like, that motherfucker gets all this free stuff and he doesn't do shit, blah, blah, blah. I loved watching him. I thought was, I liked him. But I didn't appreciate the hard work that goes into this end. And uh, isn't that the way it is with life? You never know until the shoe's on your feet how it feels to walk in them shoes. Um, so I'm not complaining. I'm just sick and ranting. And it's been a while since I've done a vlog. Um, the vape team's going great. I'm really excited about this new chapter in the vape team. Um, you know, I'll try to keep that exciting and entertaining. And, uh, you know, I'm all in. When I do stuff, I don't half-ass anything. So when I'm passionate, you'll know it. And when I'm not, I'll be done. Um, I'm still passionate about vaping. I still love it. I'm just, it's become less fun and more work. And I need to figure out a way to balance the work with the fun and still maintain, um, you know, positive energy and help you guys out. And, you know, and this is not like the thing I want to do more than anything is make like entry videos for like beginners and like how to's and stuff like that. And that hasn't even been possible with the way things have been going lately. So anyway, this is just to fill you in. If I didn't make any sense, trust me, I don't even know what I'm saying because I'm still not well. But I needed to get something out there to let you know where I'm at so that I can at least start digging through this and uh, and just start. So hopefully I'll be even better tomorrow than I am today. And much love to all of you. Thank you for sticking and staying. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, fucking subscribe because it matters. The more subscribers we have, the better we feel about ourselves. And I don't feel good about myself today, so I need you. <laughs> it really, it, it is kind of cool to get subscribers, but I don't make more money, it seems. So, I don't know. You know? And Mark and Mike, they just, they're fucking review masters, so I can't even keep up. Um, and they deserve everything they get. I have much love for them. Uh, I told them recently, uh, especially Mike, I said, Mike... You're growing so fast, and I'm so proud of you. And I'm going to fucking ride on your coattails now. It, you know, I'm going to start making videos just saying, if you'd like to see my review of this mod, check out my, Mike's video. I think that's how we're going to do it. And then maybe the Vapor Chronicles will just be like an intro to Mike's videos. <laughs> um, you know, but amazing people in the vape community. Um, there's a lot of haters. You know, I get a lot of thumbs down on some videos, and I know who you are. You know, you're people that are fucking haters. You're do-nothings, bleacher sitters. You know, you like to sit on the sidelines and judge other people when you're not even, you don't do shit yourself. I get it. Um, I've been there myself, actually, so I can empathize. I, I know how it feels to be sucky and shitty and, and lazy and hating. S stay hating. You're going to stay in a hating life. Uh, for me, luckily, I found a way out of it to be productive, successful, have love and passion. Um, but for all the haters, you know, stay hating. I'm still growing, and even when you know, even if I don't have YouTube, even if YouTube fails, because it might be a true vape Hollywood story here when everything falls, um, I'm still gonna be all right, no matter what. 
because I don't need you to feel good about me. Um, I can feel good or bad about me without you. You know, you're just icing on my hate and cake. Uh, so, but for all the people that love and support and watch, uh, for all of you struggling, keep your head up. Anything is possible in this life. You just got to put one foot in front of the other. Keep moving forward. Be real. Be honest. Expose yourself, your flaws and all. You know, none of us are perfectly perfect or perfectly imperfect. All of us make mistakes. And this is like a fucking true after school special right now. I'm getting sappy. I might even start crying and have Vapor Watch will have to mention me on one of his fucking videos. <laughs> yeah, people hate. I, I watch it. I just like. Uh, it's so, it's so, the exposure people give themselves, they think they're being sneaky or tricky, you know, but we know, because we were human too, we've been there, so, if you're in a non-hating place right now, and you're full of love and acceptance, man, doesn't it feel good, enjoy, because you will be in a hating place again, I'm sure, because we all go through, you know, peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys, it's those middle transitions where you're at your best, um, so I'm going to keep getting better. I'm going to keep vaping non-tasting liquid. So if anybody has a real shitty liquid that they want to get a good review of, maybe now is the time to send it to me and I'll do a review. Absolutely nothing. I'm getting nothing. Maybe that's water flavored liquid. Yeah. Tastes like water. Oh, another deal. I'm all over the place. Loaded glazed donuts from, I think it's Ruthless. Yeah, Ruthless. Loaded. $39.99. Do a Google search for it. Really good. Tasty. I don't know if it tastes like glazed donuts, but it tastes like. I think I said this on the vape team already. I'm repeating myself. Oh, the vape team. Fuck. I almost forgot. The vape team is not going to be on the Vapor Chronicles channel anymore. The vape team is going to only be on the vape team channel. So if you're not subscribed to the vape team channel and you wonder where the vapor Chron or where the vape team has been lately, if you just subscribed to the Vapor Chronicles, it's been on. You just have missed it because it's only on that channel and I've been sick and I haven't been able to make a video telling you that. So the, the vape team is on the vape team channel. On YouTube, live Thursday nights, 10 p.m., Mark, me, Mike, live show, one hour, every Thursday, Eastern Standard Time, 10 p.m., the Vape Team channel, YouTube. Replay, right after the Vape Team on the Vape Team channel, it's on the Vape Team channel. So you can watch the replays of every single video, 43 episodes we've already done, and there's more to come. It's only going to get better. I see huge things. We are like the, the mighty trinity of fucking middle-aged vape enthusiast sex desiring masters of our trades <laughs> no we're we're sex starved freaks of nature that desire the sensitive touch of other friends in the vape community I need to go to sleep. I don't, you know, if I, if I screen this first to like my friend Chris, he would say, don't upload that. People are going to fucking think you're nuts. I am kind of nuts. I'm going to be honest. I'm nuts. <sighs> I think I'm finished now. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. I can't even keep a straight face because I'm fucking. That's all, folks. Be well. <laughs> Bye.